Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you guys how to get started with the next project. Uh, the next project is going to be focused on texture and we're going to be doing something called texture balls where you're basically going to draw a bunch of circles and then make them into more three-dimensional shapes balls or spheres and we are going to create different textures on each one of those uh, balls. So normally we would start this project with a compass but a lot of you guys probably don't have a compass at home. I don't think I even have a compass. So you're going to just need a bunch of circular objects of different sizes and so I've got a bunch of stuff even just sitting on my desk here. So I am just going to place these circular objects down and trace around them. And I'm probably going to have to go back and fix my circles a little bit. So it looks like my object moved a little bit. Let's see if I can line that back up. And I mean, I'm not really worried about this not being perfect. I'll go back in and I'll fix these. Maybe I'll make this ball like hairy or something so that it doesn't really matter that the circle itself isn't perfect. And so I'm just gonna do this with a whole bunch of different objects and get a bunch of different sized circles.
Okay, so I've got 12 circles or 12 kind of messy uh, things that are almost circles. So now I'm going to go through and I'm going to clean everything up and actually make all of these circular. So now that I've cleaned these up at least a little bit and, uh, you know, sort of refined the outlines a bit more, I'm going to decide which ones I want to be in front and which ones I want to be in back. So right now the circles are crossing over each other. So I need to make decisions about which ones are going to be in the foreground and which ones are going to be in the background. So I'll have to erase some of the lines that I've drawn. All right, so I went through and just darkened up a couple of outlines. I'm not going to darken up all of them because I don't know how dark I'll actually make the textures in each one of these little balls, but I darkened up the ones where uh, there was overlap and I'd done some erasing just so that um, it would be easier to see which one is actually in front and which one's actually supposed to be in back. 